Hello guys, this is the Seconomist back with another update. Today is on Friday the 2nd, oh no, the 3rd of May, or is it the 2nd? Yeah. Yes, today is Friday the 3rd of May, 2024. Right now we are approaching a clock height of 831,532. the Russian government of Bolivia and we are in business for three years hardly. Uh, the upcoming le legislation will limit non-Russian crypto operations, allowing only digital financial assets issued within the Russian jurisdiction. Despite the ban, the legislation includes sanctions for cryptocurrency miners and projects sponsored by the Central Bank of Russia. Miners currently contribute about approximately 2.6 billion in liquidity for foreign trade settlements, according to the data from Statista. That's the Russian uh, data. This exemption acknowledges miners. So you're banning the use of crypto if you are still supporting the miners? Um, this exemption, um, they have a significant role uh, while aiming to regulate the broader system. Uh, the central bank and the government of the Russia have been involved in creating uh, uh, legislation with different schemes um, on the approach to crypto regulation. While the central bank has advocated for a comprehensive plan, uh, just like how China. Other uh, government uh, departments have favored a more regulated approach, similar to Western of the European and American Asian. The proposed bill appears to strike a compromise between these views, aiming to balance control over the crypto market while addressing the concerns of various states. Should the bill be enacted, Russian banks may be compelled to refuse crypto exchange related transactions 
called intelligence for millions of people years ago. The ban has sparked a debate in the With some extra time in the reforms of career regulation, the investigation is often done. Mr. Arthur Silva Silva, the deputy chairman of the Zimmer State Commission on Economic Policy, he stressed the necessity of incorporating the choice into practice, into the digital choice. He advocates for a comprehensive framework and defines the terms. It's all more rules and regulations. Bitcoin and other currencies. But as we all know, the Bitcoin network does not need permission to operate from anybody. It's a free peer-to-peer -peer network. So everybody can spun up a node or generate an address and start receiving Bitcoin. Uh, the Russian government is trying to curb or regulate Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. I can't blame them for trying to do that because if the ruble is going down and other cryptos like Bitcoin are going up in, in, in price um, and the usage of those currencies, it's, it's quite understandable that the government will try anything to control the people especially the money they use. But as you all know, uh, we don't care about the government. The government can do what they do. We as Bitcoiners will just keep on stacking sets and making sure our pile of sets grows daily, weekly, monthly. So guys, my advice to you, stack your sets. Don't worry about what the government is doing. Make sure you take your Bitcoin or Satoshis away you keep them away from any exchange, hold them on your own cold wallet or whatever. Make sure they're in your own hands, not your keys, not your coin. Set Conum is signing out for today and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.